Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, hi, Anna. For those of you, um, just want to welcome you. Um, coming all the way from the UK, I just want to, first of all, before I go any further, want to welcome you and say good evening, wherever you are, London, UK, the world. And uh, just want to check if you can hear me very clearly. The reason why I didn't come on much earlier was a slight glitch. I want to make sure. Um, and also on Instagram, you can hear me very clearly. Uh, for Facebook, um, um, you are there. And uh, uh, for YouTube, I know you'll see this on the replay. But for Facebook specifically, I'd just like to hear if you can hear me very clearly. I just want to get a, 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 a few feedback if you can hear me very clearly. That would be great. And at the same time, I'd love for you to share this video uh, per share on Facebook. I've been mandated and been reminded a lot by my minders to always say share, 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 share. If you come on, just press share. Sharing is caring and that is fantastic, right? Now, of course, my, my key topic today, as you can see, uh, is the, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson is in intensive care. This is showing how much that the corona virus or the COVID-19 is impacting. It is impacting many people's lives. Um, people are coming back and people are sharing messages about uh, how their families are affected, meaning to say they've lost people. Uh, I've seen on Facebook, Facebook friends, um, not everybody one can actually respond to, but they are giving incidents of persons who are actually dying. But one of the, one of the difficulty is that death will always come but it is when there's this not the possibility of persons to mourn properly to mourn properly it is a situation where people are not able to you know um, meet up with their families and to share moments because everything is somewhat of an isolation and it is a challenging time ladies and gentlemen i, I still maintain at the same time that it came to pass, it's, it's come to pass and not to stay. And I believe that we'll all go through this, just like the queen said, we'll all meet again. It's interesting that she said we'll all meet again um, because that reminisce a bit from the war. When we talk about we all meet again, because of course, um, during the war period, they were not able to actually <clears throat> meet a lot with, with families. So what she said, we'll all meet again. Now. Today, um, a, a few days ago, um, uh, you know, uh, a few times ago, we have got the news that the prime minister wasn't doing well. And Prime Minister Boris Johnson, I, listen, I, I take this position now, <clears throat> and maybe there might be some questions sign, um, around Trump, but leaders have been on the front line doing uh, fantastic work um, in regards to being at the cutting edge in this whole fight against COVID-19, this fight against the coronavirus this fight against this evil, this fight against this um, disease, <clears throat> this fight against this demon or whatever you want to call it, because it is not of God, right? I'm coming from a spiritual base. It is not of God. That is something we've got to clearly say without a doubt that it is not of God. And one need to speak to the evil which is around us, right? It is unfortunate sometimes that <clears throat> even persons are not able to enjoy the beauty of the sunshine, right? Um, I think over the weekend, there was a beautiful day. Persons weren't able to enjoy. People are quarantined. People are locked up in their house. This is not of God. It must come to pass without a doubt. And, <clears throat> and it is very concerning, ladies and gentlemen, but it is something that we have to take um, very serious because I, I still, I maintain, that I, I have my, my gel, which I take with me everywhere I go, my antiseptic gel. Um, I've got a mask now. Um, you know, if I don't have a mask, what I do, I put on a, a, a scarf. But I ordered some masks yesterday as well, online, which I saw it. I did a research, and I'm coming up sometime in May. We don't know how long this is gonna last for. Um, speaking to someone in Jamaica, they're actually making masks. I'm looking to see if people might want these sort of masks as well because we don't know where it goes. There might be opportunities as well. Um, so let me just check to see if persons can actually uh, uh, hear me. 
I love to, let me just uh, do a quick uh, spot check here. And I, I love to have um, conversation. If, if anyone would like to come in onto this live as well, mm -hmm. eventually, because I can actually um, um, take on persons, uh, feel free to, to inquire, to send a message, and I will send you the link as well. Okay. And, and tonight I'll have a, a guest um, who will be joining me at some point later. But first and foremost, we got the news today that the PM, the Prime Minister, has asked the Foreign Secretary, Dominic Raab, to deputize where necessary, number 10. Now, why is this? Why is this? Why is the Prime Minister asking Dominic Raab to deputize? Means that Dominic Raab will be um, the de facto leader um, while things are going through because Prime Minister Boris Johnson has moved to intensive care in a London hospital. He has been suffering from coronavirus symptoms for 10 days, went to hospital on Sunday, right? Uh, and somehow, um, when you know, it's so funny, but yesterday when I got the beep, there's a beep that comes on your phone when BBC get that alert. I actually said, somehow my mind ran on Boris Johnson, literally, I even said to my wife, and then I saw the news and I said, wow, you know, not like your greatest fear because I believe that you will pull through. But when I saw that he was admitted, I said, wow. And then this happening today now where he's suffering. Um, and I believe he's, he's the only world leader that I can think of, right? So world leaders, British politicians, everyone is wishing him a speedy recovery. Everybody has closed ranks. Uh, Foreign Secretary Dominic Robb to, de to deputize in his absence. <clears throat> But it needs to be put forward at the same time that more than 10,000 people have died from coronavirus in the U.S., according to John Hopkins. And it is going. The PM at this present moment, what they are saying, um, and this was at 2214, was given oxygen before being taken in intensive care um, Monday afternoon. Uh, not, not much has been released as to the Prime Minister's condition, but number 10 statement earlier said that he had worsened after suffering persistent symptoms of the coronavirus. Now I'm not um, a, a medical expert, and many, many persons are not. There are many different medical experts out there, but it is not looking very good, definitely not. And so I'm just wanting to um, bring in um, my 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 colleague, Mr. Uh, uh, let me see, Kwame. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Is that okay? Can you hear me, sir? <laughs> Yeah, you yeah, can, I can hear you, you can hear me. I can hear you. Can yeah. you hear me? Good evening. I uh, can listeners. see that your company. I'm sorry. I said good evening, listeners. Good evening, bro, and good evening, Fant listeners. Fantastic. Yeah. Yes. I can I can see that you have good company behind you. I can see one, two, three uh, fishes. <laughs> <laughs> one, one, yeah. one. One of, one of the things that they were talking about on television today, because there have been a lot of these interviews now, people are saying that they are able to look into people's house and see all these things behind them because, oh. you know, <laughs> and, 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 and that is what social, social distancing have, 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 has done, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. And, 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 and also mm -hmm. what, what is happening as well is that uh, people are just dressing just the top of their outfits there, but when they stand up, they're just in their... There, there are shorts. There's nothing there. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was at court today. I was at court today. When I say to people I was at court, they say, you still going out? I said, no. I had a remote um, contested hearing today. And of course, you know, the judge is there, wherever she is, and blah, 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 the different party. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if we all put on a webcam. Everybody would go like, ah! <laughs> you know? But listen, listen. <clears throat> okay, I can see some comments here that they can hear. Uh, the spiritual comment. Yeah, people, yeah, I think people yeah. can hear. Yeah, I just saw a comment there. The very saddest thing is all this is, as a religious man, I'm forbidden from going to my church. At this time, my opinion and religion is having power reduced by the virtue of above. You know, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I've got Mr. Uh, Kwame Asua Asabari. Now, listen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you... Um, Kwame is, is a conservative um, gentleman. That's why I said, let me we talk. And also a very vibrant, vibrant Christian. Um, myself also is a conservative as well. And Boris Johnson is our party leader. 
we make no qualms about that and we we wish him all the best but Kwame, can you tell me what's your thoughts and where with this corona but regarding boris johnson uh <clears throat> boris is our leader and uh I mean, I, I feel so sorry. I, today I've been, when I hear, I, just, I, I hear the news that uh, Boris has been taken to intensive care. I have felt very, very, very short. But as a Christian, as a believer, I, I have faith that God will touch him because he said God has an assignment for him. And we are praying that God will heal him and um, use him. Because God is the one that used him to bring the United Kingdom out of, I mean, to throughout the bread he was leading. And uh, the enemy is on the attack. But we strongly, I strongly believe that God will use him to complete the assignment that he has given him for this nation. That is for sure. So I know Boris is in intensive care right now but uh, um we will pray we will pray we pray that god will, will touch him yeah um let's let's go let's go back a bit let's go back a bit because one of the things that i keep asking persons a lot is about the corona virus and about covid19 how have you been coping with it you got children you got a family uh, how have you been coping with it uh i mean we've been coping uh just like just like everybody i mean we, when we go out the kids have not been out i mean after uh, we came home they have not been out so when we when i step out or when my wife step out we make sure we we are following the guidelines wearing the, the mask and the, also making sure of the social distance which is very important and the other thing that we are doing because this is an invisible uh, invisible virus it's, it's like we are fighting something that everybody can see it's invincible so yeah. i mean what i think uh, boris in one of his speeches last last month said that this is an invis we are fighting an invisible uh you use the term an invisible uh war basically something that we cannot see this is not, not like a physical war so my Bible tells me that if you are fighting something that invis that is invisible, you engage prayers. Yes. Because as much as we are physical being, that is why I mean, if people don't believe that people who don't have faith, I pray that this thing will turn people back to faith. You know, as much as this thing is has been deadly, uh, has made people so many families lost their loved ones. I pray that through this revival will come. God will revive many, many people who have gone out of faith, you know, because we are fighting something that we cannot see. And the Bible says that uh, in Ephesians chapter 6, it says that our wrestle is not against flesh and blood, but against things that our eyes cannot see, principalities, powers in the spiritual realm. So... Yes. That is why prayer is important. We need, we need the hand of God to intervene and heal our land. That's, that's why he said in the Bible, he said, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and then I will come from heaven and heal their land. So we need the healing power of God in this nation and all, all, all over the world as well. Yeah. Now, now tell me, tell me this now. Um, you've got a leader, okay, who is at the helm. In Jamaica right now, we have a leader which is called Andrew Honus, and he's got. And uh, you, I've seen you have, you have followed him, and seen where he called the nation to prayer. Yes. And uh, and he's at the forefront, and he's at the cutting edge of the whole thing. Leaders right now, they are like. Um, the, the the buffer could be deemed as a buffer at the same time between the nation the coronavirus and the people with boris johnson taken out of the equation for a season i would say i wish him all the best for a season do you think that has any moral impact upon people the nation people are looking for that hopeful factor 
Yeah, yeah, it will surely. It will. It will have an impact on 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 many people because this evening many people have been send, calling, sending in messages. Oh why? Oh why? He is our leader. People might not like him, and people might love him, but he, he is our leader. And anything that happens to him will have an impact on everybody. You know, so that is why if whether whatever you have against him or you might not have. Please just just pray for him if you are a believer. Pray for him. Mm. And and what what about the, the the practicalities at the same time? The practicalities is that the nation has to go on. Um, it's not just Corona only. Got the, 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 there are many different factors of government which is happening. Um, what they said is that the prime minister only spoke to Dominic Rob. Well, they said they didn't speak recently, if anything. So they are talking about for him to be. The, the deputy at the same time, Dominic Robb, who is now the, the deputy. What's your thoughts about Dominic Robb? Because at the end of the day, someone someone has to be in charge. We've got the recently, Labour has just elected Starman. Uh, I would say it was a solid yeah. pair of hands. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Dominic Robb? Yeah, I'm, I don't have anything against Dominic Robb. I, I think he he's a great guy and he can perform very well. And uh, I wish him all the best. And uh, I, I wish him all the best. I, he will he can he can do the job. He has the capa he cut he he's very competent guy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I don't have anything against him. Yeah. The, the the other thing also that people have been talking about, ladies and gentlemen, I'd love to hear your views as well. Um, and let me hear your views on this particular point, and even those on Instagram, and thank you for those coming on Instagram, I just hope you can hear. Should there be a government of unity at this point, a government of unity whereby key strands from the opposition come together to take the nation through this oh, process? Yeah. Where politics yeah, yeah. is taken completely out of the equation. What some other leader was saying, I don't know if it was Tony Blair, was saying that what is needed now is even someone breathing, focusing completely on taking the nations through. Do you believe that this nation is mature enough to have a, a government of unity at this time? Uh, yeah, why not? I think it, this is a, this is a great opportunity for, for all the parties, Labour, Lib Dems, to come together as one and... Uh, just unite the nation and, 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 and fight this virus, yeah. you know? But I think what, what is very important for this nation to do is, is for somebody to have the guts to call for a national day of prayer and fasting, yeah. like what other nations. I, I know Trump have done it. The Jamaican president have done it. Yeah. Ghana president have done it. Many countries, even Australia, even, many countries have done it. This is, because this is an invisible invisible virus we don't know what it is so we need prayer is very important we have to engage prayer. so i pray i, I just pray that anybody listening who, who is in government i sent I, I sent a message to somebody who is top official to actually send it to uh the i mean somebody in downing street yeah. to call for a national day of prayer I yeah. mean, for Boris, so basically, a national day of prayer and fasting, because that is what is needed in this. After all, this is a Christian nation, whether people like it or not. This is a Christian nation. <clears throat> it's interesting what you say about a national day of prayer, because, or a national day of, you know, you know what? Let's 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 hold up to national day of choir, prayer for first. Uh, you know, on the two days that they had the eight o'clock clapping and applauding for. The, the NHS. Oh, NHS, yeah. Yes. I was just thinking to myself, I saw a beautiful video going around where people in Brazil and I think in Spain, they are singing, Because He Lives. Because He Lives, yeah. Ooh, that was powerful, isn't it? I watched yeah. the video. And, 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 and I, said to my, I said to myself, that would be so fantastic if the UK, at a particular time, um, you know, not on the day when we have the the, the the NHS applause, everybody just singing to either either Amazing Grace, or or something, yeah, or something. We've got so many hymns. This is a nation of hymn writers. Yeah. Got, we've got so many, so many songs, so many Christians, so thousands of hymns written yeah. by people. I mean, 
people who were British, I mean, born people uh, who, who, who have died and gone. But we have great hymns, the, the Charles Wesley hymns. There are so many hymns that we, I mean, we can pick one of them and uh, it will be amazing, isn't it? Yes, yes. I, I think, I think, because, because I think, I think we've got to maybe um, draw the conclusion somehow that this evil which has befallen us some to an extent will not go by vaccine no we'll the same way it came we pray that the same way well, so many pastors have been saying the same way it came the same way sadly it will disappear miraculously <laughs> that people will know that there is a god in heaven yes you know yes so the same so ladies and gentlemen what they're saying the same way it came the same way it shall go and i believe without a doubt um there are certain things that do not go out except by what by prayer the hand of god <laughs> and prayer, prayer and fast prayer yeah, and fast yeah, which is one of very them. important but very I, important I, but i want to ask persons these these key questions and um comment on instagram comment on facebook and for those okay. who play on youtube you know comment on this do you believe that prayer can change things at this time do you believe that a vaccine is the answer right there's something i was thinking about this is a period of the passover you know that yeah this week isn't it what is what is what is the significance of the passover what happened during that period there you remember yeah yeah the passover is when the the god uh, took the children of israel yes yeah out of the land of egypt and they told them to mark their doorposts with a with a black cat you know yes <laughs> and, yes and, and yeah so 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 therefore ladies and gentlemen and i was thinking today and somebody sent a prayer and sent something to me to say that people need to anoint their house with oil right? with oil no death shall come near no that plague dwelling. shall come near your dwelling yeah. no <laughs> death no plague or whatever shall come near that dwelling because remember with egypt with the pharaoh guy right the, the angel of death marched through and killed off the firstborns in egypt at that point during the plague because the word that he spoke the word that pharaoh spoke came upon him when 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 moses said to him whatever you know you have created that evil upon yourself by the word that you spoke Right, mm -hmm. and I, I I've been looking at politically charged persons from maybe various sides of the spectrum who have hatred for the prime minister, and I found it very concerned where people spoke some words which I cannot repeat. Oh my on God! It's it, so bad. I, I, this afternoon I've been reading some comments. Said, hey, some people don't have any any fear of god in them people are just wishing boris oh my god yes but it's just bad yes so 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 ladies and gentlemen and and, and i i saw one particular post and i just said my only comment was we can just reject those words in jesus name and we can speak words of life because god is the healer he's a jehovah Rapha, and i speak mm -hmm confidence and apologies because at this time now you know people are Kwame you know ladies and gentlemen right now someone you see today may go tomorrow and you people are maybe having any regrets that they have not decided on certain decisions in their life right some may even want to serve the Lord and believe that but never had that opportunity some may want to have a dream and a passion which they have been working on and have been ignoring, wish now that they can have it. But I say it's an opportunity time. It's a time now where persons are looking at and saying, hey, I've got these time now, if I can capitalize on it. Hence the reason why I created a program called Business and Lifestyle Live, where we're gonna look at certain tips, certain ways how persons can actually maneuver and negotiate this period. And one of my guests was talking about five steps to working from home are you working from home Kwame <laughs> yeah I'm working from home everybody's working from home right. now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah so about yeah five we, we, did, we had a meeting this morning on zoom yes 
Yeah, but I mean, sometimes it's fights. You can't hear one voice, and it's it's not like a, a meeting physical, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Now, someone someone said, um, my favorite gospel song is "Who What a Sunrise." Who What a Sunrise, ladies and gentlemen. If you're on, send in or type in your favorite your favorite song. Yeah, bingo. Type in your favorite song <laughs> that you love the whole UK or your country to sing at a particular time, declaring God's grace and God's mercy at this time. What song is it that you like? And the reason why I'm saying this is because I've been asked and I've been charged to say, get people to talk, get people to come in. So therefore, if you're here and you see this, say what is that song that you love to hear sing? I think I love this song, which is um, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. Yeah, I, I, I like that song as well. Yeah. 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 And and I and I heard it in Spanish or uh, or Portuguese. Oh, that was very powerful. That right. was amazing. That was. You see, you when I was listening, you can see, hear the anointing, the, yes. the power of God behind yes. the song. I mean, yes. it was very powerful. Brazil have done very well. The Brazilian did very well. Yes, yes. And yeah. now another person named Mister. Uh, 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 Robbie, which is online now, says, I might not be British. Oh, Robbie, yeah, he's my, my friend is suffering. Okay. What he said, I support the gentleman's idea of a national day of prayer. God is the ultimate, and he has buttressed his point with case example where all the top countries in the world have done that. British, go down on your knees and cry to God for healing. In fact, the whole world should be praying at this moment of evil attack. It is a fact. It is an evil attack. It's and an evil you, attack. You remember when Princess Diana died? Mm -hmm. um, one of the poignant moments was when they led the world to the Lord's prayer. Right? The Lord's yeah. prayer. Yeah, the Lord's prayer. Yeah. Because, okay, it was in the UK where, they, where they, the, the funeral was, but the world was watching that um, prayer and the funeral and led the world to the Lord's Prayer. And I believe <clears throat> at this time that with this evil, this evil which has befallen, ladies and gentlemen, let's not play around. It is an evil which has befallen us. And an evil comes from the enemy, the devil. So therefore, how we can- God, God is love. It's not from God. It's not from God. It's not from God. So therefore, one need to bring God in. Vivian Appiah, what she said is, uh, this yeah, is that's, um, because, because he lives, lives, she said that as yeah. well. Um, yeah. Herdley says, oh, what a sunrise by Grace Fillers. Someone else said, I can face tomorrow. Fantastic. Yes. So we're getting there. We're getting there. And, and one of the things, Kwame, which I want to do before you leave, I've done this a few times now, um, is asking persons to pray. And I'm going to ask you at this time as a man of God to pray for Boris Johnson. And just pray for the nation before before we before we finish, you know. But but tell me at the same time, and I'm gonna ask you this question now. When do you believe this lockdown will will go? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a prophet, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not I'm not a prophet, but uh, I just pray that uh, this 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 month, some way, somehow, I pray that. Even this is the week, this is the holy week of Easter. Yes. And I pray that the resurrection power of yes. Christ, yes. as we celebrate this Easter, yes. churches have been shut down. You know, the enemy has literally shut churches, not only in this country, but in Ghana, in many other countries. Yes. And who can fight God and win? You can't fight God and win. You can't shut God's churches down. Yes. No. Mm. So I pray that some way, somehow, something miraculously will happen and this thing will disappear. Either this week or sometime this month. That's my prayer. I feel that. I feel that. And I believe, I believe that if the church of Jesus Christ actually agree. Yeah, churches have to come together and pray. Yeah. Agree. Agree. Yeah. Yeah, agree. The agreement very Finally, important. Yeah, agree, and say let's shut this thing down. Well, not not <laughs> shut down. Let's get rid of it. Speak the word against it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I believe this. I I I saw the other day. I just had this vision like um 
this thing just blown away. Yeah, I could just blown away. <sighs> just blow away. Right? Yeah, it just just suddenly gone, disappear. Yeah. You know? And and you know, so so I, I, I believe that very strongly. The the next thing as well, the next thing as well is what have you been doing if anything doing the for me I I I, I do a lot of dancing and having funky stuff <laughs> <laughs> you, know? you, 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 you dance all day you don't go to court <laughs> yeah yeah what is it that you do what is what is your tip for people to um you know go through the day you know you got the children there while you're working what what is your tip so I mean what have what have kept me going <laughs> is I I listen to I actually, I, I, I've been telling my wife that uh, you should you should try as much as possible to avoid the news. The bad yes. news is just too much, so yeah. I try as much as possible to avoid the news. Yeah. So what what have kept me going is listening to some gospel music, listening to some hymns, uh, listening to some old preaching. I was listening to a word of that one pastor while he preached in Canada yesterday. It was very powerful. Say so help. Oh, help from above that was a very good message i think i'll send it to you that was a great message and i mean that has kept me going and uh it takes it takes it takes it just makes you you can feel the peace of god all around you mm. you know and i think that's what people should be doing instead of watching unnecessary uh whatever that they might be watching this time right Some, someone sent me someone sent me a video with uh some bags uh black bags and i and i i am I'm assuming based on the video it was bodies in there and i said to the person why are you sending me pictures of death it's it's it's, it's not nice i don't want yeah. to see i don't i mean why is we don't have even the respect the, the, the people need to respect i mean this is private some people's private listen this is not be shared around i mean yes. the internet is making people go crazy yes yes why are you send me pictures of death i mean where are the good stories of persons yeah. who have i mean boris johnson is, is going to be a classic example of someone who recovered uh where are those good stories which are which are coming out because the death message is coming through and lots of people are at a different stage from the media yeah it's too much mm. Why are the people who have been healed? Many people have gone through intensive care and they they come out. You know. How do you, how do you think? Why can't, can't, yes. Sorry. Keep keep talking. My apologies. Keep talking. Sir. Yeah. Why can't? Why is the media not giving us those people those information? And it's all about that. Yeah. I mean, come on. What 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 do you think? Do you think the media has been doing a good job? No, not really. Not in my eyes. I don't know, but not in my eyes. I think they, 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 there's too much. They are preaching fear. They are making people scared. It's just too much. Just too much. But the media still has a responsibility in order it to... It has a responsibility to report, but I, I think they should find a better way of doing it. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 So they should find a better way of doing it. Well, well, I, I will... I will wrap up on this um before i ask you to pray is something which i keep putting out each time when i'm talking is recommendations from psychologists and you hit mm -hmm. on the first one that says isolate yourself from news about the virus isolate yourself isolate yourself from the news yeah isolate yourself everything we need to know <clears throat> we already know and even dr hillary a guy on television this morning was talking about if you keep bombarding yourself with that on social media and everything it will consume you whereby this fair factor just built up and that is not healthy and and my bro fear is not from god fear is from the pit of hell the bible say that god has not given us the spirit of fear yes but of power love and of sound mind because yes. if you can't come you don't have any sound mind you you can't think you feel anxious it, and it can't even kill you yes yes that's that's interesting there because and you have persons who are sharing like this country that told this country that told this country that told i don't <laughs> want to see that seriously i don't want to see that 
I'll yeah. pray for I'll rather pray for those countries. I don't want to see any any no. no. Yes. So what so what the psychologist says there is don't look out for death toll. It is not a cricket match to know the latest score. Avoid that. Don't look for additional information on the internet. It would weaken your mental state. And yeah. additional information I'm talking about also, I would link it with the the 5G, which is linked to the corona. And of course, mm. the, 5G. <laughs> yeah. And of course, the 20 pound note, which they say has a picture of corona and the tower on the back. Oh, yeah, I, I heard people saying that. But, so if you are watching and you are one of them, you don't want 20 pounds, please, please. Uh, send it, send it to me. Send it to me. I, I, oh, I, I, I <laughs> oh, so you want to you want to call it the twenty dollars as well? Twenty pounds. I'll call it the twenty pounds news if you don't want. <laughs> uh, I, I did volunteer as well because I say I'm happy to volunteer. They can just put it into a zippy bag, and and I'll just come and just lose my <laughs> my hand gel and wipe it off before and spray on it all over. So yes, so people, they're used to. <laughs> yeah, so people, if you if you do not want your twenty pound note because of the corona virus emblem which is on it which they claim and the 5g uh kwame and myself we are happy to take it <laughs> yeah we're happy to take it you can give it to charity or give it to charity, charity of course and to the nhs which is doing a fantastic job yeah. Yeah. The, the other one is avoid sending fatalistic messages some people don't have the same mental strength as you are as you are yes yeah, some yeah. people cannot take it yeah, yeah. so stop sharing yeah. Some people should stop sharing all kinds of videos. Stop it. Yes. Instead of helping, you could activate pathologies such as depression. Listen to music at home, pleasant volume, look for board games to entertain children, tell stories and future plans. Or Clean do your work. house. Or Clean break your that. garden. Do some gardening. Do yeah. some cleaning. Iron some your clothes. Read your book. Write a book. Do something else. Yes. And, and number six, maintain discipline in the home by washing your hands. Uh, putting up a sign or alarm for everyone in the house. Your positive mood will help protect your immune system, while negative thoughts have been shown to depress your immune system and make it weak against viruses. And eight, finally, most important, the firmly believe that this shall also pass and we shall be safe. And I strongly believe that that is what I added to it. We It shall come to pass and we shall stay. Now, I want you before we go, Amari, Amari, bless you. I want you before you go, is to say a word of prayer for, for the Prime Minister Boris. I believe in prayers very strongly. Um, um, I pray for Boris Johnson and the nation at this time. I'm sure people will appreciate it. And even this day, as I was speaking to my colleague, Mr. Charles Kieran the other day, even persons who do not believe in God, when it comes on to death, when a plane is going down, the first thing that they say is, oh my God, Mm -hmm. Right. And at this moment now, we are at this threshold whereby people are looking for answers. They're looking for hope and they are looking up whether they like it or not. So I'm inviting you to make a, a, a couple of minutes prayer, uh, my brother. OK, let's pray. Um, I just read the scripture and then we, we pray. I read the first Genesis chapter two, verse seven. He says, then the Lord God formed, um, formed man from the dust on the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Mm. And the man and man became a living soul. So we're going to pray. If we are watching, we are all going to pray for the breath of life for Boris. And that's Genesis and chapter 2, Genesis chapter 2, verses what? Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. The, yeah, Genesis 2, 7. And we uh, read uh, Psalm 121, mm. uh, this one, Psalm 121. Uh, yep. He said, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come? My help come from the Lord, the maker of the heaven and the earth. He said, he will not let your foot be moved. He who watches over you will not slumber. Yeah. Said so indeed, the Lord watches over Israel. So the Lord watches over Boris and yes. the Lord watches over the United Kingdom. Yes. And he neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you and your family. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall, will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. 
The Lord will keep you from all harm. The Lord will keep Boris from all harm. He will preserve his life. The Lord will watch over Boris in the name of Jesus. So let's let's pray. Let's let's just pray those uh, words because we, we, I mean you need the word of God. If we are praying, you need God's word to pray. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, oh God, for this program. I thank you for my brother Selbo. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, committing, O oh God, Boris Johnson into your holy hands. Father, Boris is our leader. And right now he's in intensive care. So we pray and send and ask that you send your angels, O oh God, to that place, to that, that intensive care unit at St. Thomas's. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That your healing power will touch Boris in the mightly in the name of Jesus. We pray and ask that the blood of Jesus Christ, even as we celebrate Easter this week, the blood, the blood, we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over Boris. We plead it over his family, his, his, his partner and the unborn baby. We pray, oh God, for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask that your mercy will locate Boris Johnson, the prime minister of this nation. We pray for your mercy, O oh Lord. We ask for your mercy, O oh God, to be with him this evening. We pray, O oh God, that you will give Boris a testimony through this in the name of Jesus Christ. That you will know that true, true that you are a God that heals. We pray for your healing power over him right now. We ask, O oh God Almighty, that your right hand will touch him. We pray for your help, O oh God. We decree and declare Psalm 91 over him. We ask, O oh God, that you will hide him, O oh God, in your secret place, and you have mercy on him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Boris is coming out strong, He's coming out from the intensive care stronger, and he's coming out with a testimony to give glory and honor to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for that. And I'm sure many people appreciate that as well. Um, as someone said, pray for everyone that is suffering COVID-19 as well. And, and also we pray for everyone that is in the hospital. We pray for the nurses. We yeah. pray for the doctors. We pray for all healthcare workers, the cleaners, the, the caterers, anyone, anybody working in the healthcare in the front line, not only in this country, all over the world. We pray for the God's hand. May God Almighty protect them. May God yes. hide them, oh mm -hmm. God, from the eyes of the enemy. In Jesus' yes. name, we pray against this virus that it will suddenly disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And I received Amen. that. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is good. As a matter of fact, if you, you know, my colleague, if you have any prayer request as well, you just type it up. Um, my colleague Kwame will be able to pick that up as well. Uh, because, you know, Kwame, we, we, we need the hand of God, whether we like it or we not. Need, we need the hand of God. Certainly yeah. we do. We, do and, we need the hand of God. And one of the things I say, one has got to make the election sure at this time. Election sure at this time is you need to determine which side you're on, you know. And, and this is a time and this is a call. And and one of my encouraging words at this time is that uncharted, you know, during the world Brexit period when we we're going through that, I said uncharted waters brings also uncharted opportunities. Now, I don't yes. know where the opportunities will come for, for you, for persons out there, but I believe that this is a time whereby persons are constrained or they're isolated or they are forced to be by themselves to re-engage mm. re engage and by such re-engagement they can re-engage back with their dreams it's an opportune time to re-engage back with your passion this is a it's time of, because you know when we're working out there by monday to friday nine to five dash school back and there's things that you want to do you cannot get to do it right and and people are now i mean i started a, a new show which is called business and lifestyle live i did it because i find that it's an opportune time now to get persons who are out there who have tips tips as how to 
to maneuver, tips on how to engage, tips on how to do their branding, tips like yourself, calling on persons, you know, to see how they can help to change the mindset because I believe that we're going to have a massive and great awakening very soon. Very yeah, soon. He's just being up. Yeah. You know, so, so any last word, bro, before we go? Yeah. I just pray for any, everyone listening. I uh, I pray that the hand of God will touch you and your family as well. Yes. That the Lord will preserve uh, everyone. As the Queen said, He said we will meet again, isn't it? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We shall meet again one of these we days. We shall meet again. Forget about the name who sang it, and um, you know, and and you know, so so yeah, so so you take care, buddy. And thank you so much. Yeah, and you take care. I pray for you and the family as well. Yeah. Yes, yes, likewise. We, we will talk. God bless you. Talk. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> um, we want to thank um, Kwame for coming on tonight, <clears throat> which was um, very helpful and which was very good. And I, I think it's a um, very, I, I want to make sure, and I'm sure you'll agree with me that at this time, we, we have to somewhat navigate the maze and dip into bags or parcels of hope and bring it up to the top and flood the world with that. You know, what is not disputing or discounting the realities at the same time? But well, we can create our other realities. We can create other realities because, you know, when, when, sometimes when I think about the isolation, I think to myself and say, but there's also another killing because people are not able to get their vitamin D and get their um, sunshine, even though the UK would offer for sunshine. <laughs> but I don't know. There's got to be something that, that break eventually, you know. Somebody asked me, what's that cough? Man, that's a cough, man. Listen, I'll be honest with you. As a friend of mine said that he believed he had COVID three, four times. I, I believe that I had COVID. I believe that I had it about three, four weeks ago. I was coughing. Um, never had the fever. But but I, I you know, found myself tired, going to bed a lot, sleeping, and uh, drinking a lot. I was drinking a lot of orange juice. Where's my orange juice? Yeah. I was drinking a lot of orange juice. Just drinking, drinking, drinking. And... Uh, Never had any ache or anything. Um, you know, sometimes some good chills. And and yeah, so I had this dry cough for a while. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as my friend Charles Amaker said, well, I think I had it about three, four times, you know. But nevertheless, I, I believe that uh, you know, not that I believe and I don't want to speak those words, but you know, people are going to be um getting this whole thing and uh they're gonna pull through. Uh some won't pull through, but so we've got to take care of ourselves, you know isolate yourself, drink a lot of fluid, get your angels, get your get your, your mask as well and, and, and follow through. But just one final bit there before I go and and one of the latest bit is I was talking I was thinking about the exit in the coronavirus lockdown and um and they say it's too early because eventually that will have to happen. Because it's like if it doesn't happen sooner than later, then the later when it happens is like will it spread all over again? But the foreign secretary, Dominic Robb, who is now the de facto leader in a sense because the prime minister is now in intensive care, he said the current measures were beginning to work. But shifting focus could mean we won't get through the peak as fast as we need to. He added that Boris Johnson remained in charge of the government from hospital where the PM spent the night receiving treatment for coronavirus symptoms. Number of virus deaths in the UK now stands at 5,373. And the Department of Health and Social Care repeated 51,608 confirmed cases. He asked during the government daily briefing when the current social distancing measures could be lifted. The government chief medical advisor, Professor Chris Whitley, said it was first established when the peak of the ep epidemic will come. The key thing is to get to the point where we are confident to have reached the peak. And that is how now beyond the peak, he said. He added to start at having a discussion before there will be a mistake, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is all I can actually say now. And I just wanted to put my bit there. Yeah. 
Yeah, and um, you know, we all stay safe and we all uh, keep cool. And as I said, I'll be, um, you know, putting out this other show which is called Business and Lifestyle. Um, many people are gonna be talking about their business or to give a platform where people can promote themselves. Even someone can even sing, do an cappella or whatever like that. Talk about some key tips. Somebody um, I saw earlier today said about how can we save at this time? They're talking about how you can re, re, re look at your bills. They're talking about um, should your mortgage go on three months holiday? Your key bills go on holidays? Holidays save because you don't know next three months if it's still going on and the funds that you have start to deplete. Maybe this can actually be a saving grace at the same time. Council tax is there, you know. So I'm trying to get someone to speak on those particular points as to what you can save. So getting someone to speak about branding. How do you brand or rebrand yourself during the period of this time? Um, someone talk about maybe books. How can you write a book during this time of this 10 weeks? Uh, my friend Anthony Francis, I talked about thinking, plan it, do it now. He spoke about the five tips about working from home, working from home. You know, he spoke about things like be, you know, avoid temptation of doing chores, of wanting to do housework while you're working from home, you know, making sure that you exercise. He talked about making sure of all these different things. You can watch that on the YouTube channel, Silburn TV. So, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very much for coming on. Um, remember to like and subscribe to my channel, Silburn TV on YouTube, um, on Facebook. And uh, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. And thank you for all the persons that came on, Mark and Buddy, and those on uh, Instagram, for those on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much as well. Have a good night and God bless you all. Thank you.